This is my little vlog camera. That's what I've been vlogging with. It's the DJI. I'm just getting a little bit of, of vlog footage right now. Whoa, Inception. Been having veggies for dinner like every day, and today it's kind of like veggie plate, burrata, some roasted broccoli, pepper, bread, balsamic, and some of the a cook named Matt flaky salt. Go buy thirty of these. Oh. I'm, I'm telling you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take New York, I'm gonna take New York and bring it back. So my next video, I'm thinking of doing tacos. Why tacos are always better at taquerias. I don't know what to call these because I grew up on them and we just call them tacos. Like even my family back home, if I ask them, they won't know what they're called. We just call them tacos. But I had to look it up and I think it's called like tacos matamoros style or uh, tacos norteños. So I'm gonna nail that down we're gonna explain the style of these tacos I grew up with because Texas is not just a bunch of like whitewashed Tex-Mex burritos. It's got legit stuff, especially like in the town I'm from, it's all Mexican. And I remember uh, me and my mom, we'd cross the border, like at once a week we'd cross the border driving or walking and there was this place called Gonzalez Tacos. You could smell the tortillas from a block away from this place. It was a place that was not as like, not too bigger, too much bigger than my living room. Like it was a small place seating around the center. And in the center was two women, one with this giant hot wok of oil, dipping the tortillas, the other one on the side, building the tacos. And these were the best. They were just the most decadent, two biter, one biter, crushable taco. So fucking delicious. And um, in my town, there is a taqueria in like every street. You've got like El Ultimo Taco, Taco Rey, Mr. Taco, Yoli's Tacos, Tacos Locos, there's Ibarra's, there's so many. And everyone has their own. They're like, Ibarra's is better than Ultimo and blah, blah, blah. Like everyone just has their own. Like for me, I have Ultimo, I love Ultimo. Um, I just wanna go over that though. What do you guys think? Should I, should I like make this into a series, like a taco series or just like a one offer? Do you like the title? Like I'm trying to think of the title for this why tacos are always better at taquerias because it's like a play on this why always better at restaurant series I've been doing. I don't know, that's that's my thought right now. That's my yapping session on, on tacos. Um, and then don't even get me started on the sides. That's a, that's a whole other thing. Domino's pizza, white sauce, uh, Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have here? We Big have bowl of Halloween candy. Pocky and Pokemon cards and Tootsie Pops, M&M's. What's else? What else is in there? Pops. Yeah, Tootsie Pops. Blow Pops. Blow Pops as well. I think this is fine. Just leave it right here and let them take what they want, right? Okay, I'll be the first trick-or-treater. Yeah, I'm supposed to take that. That's for the kids. No, <laughs> I also want to open one. Well, I hope they don't come so we can open all the packs. <laughs> How many of you grew up with this right here? This was the bougie stuff when I was a kid. Um, it was between this or the Kraft mac and cheese. Everyone knows the Kraft was like cheaper and it wasn't as good. This to me was like the best. It was like just the my favorite when I was a kid. Anyways. I don't have this anymore because obviously like come on like look at that but Jen has never had this and so I was flabbergasted distraught anyways she needs to try it so we're gonna make some here
Okay, of course this is delicious, but still need to be nutritious somewhat. So I've got some broccolini for the veg and fiber. And then I'm making a dal makhni. For those of you that don't know what a dal makhni is, this is so delicious. It's basically, imagine if a Mexican dish like frijoles a la chara was turned Indian with lentils. It is so bomb and it's one of my favorites. The bowl of mac and cheese right onto the lentils. You see that? Warms it up nice. That's ingenuity right there. It does not taste like craft. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's way better than crap. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a huge salt shaker. Yeah. It'll last you for five years. I don't really understand fiesta wear. Vegan. Yeah. Can you uh, cinnamon palmier, please? Yeah. And How are you? Okay. Good one, guys. That is a nice palmier. Mm. That's so dope. Yeah, we should come. That's cool. So they just added a new aquarium entrance here. It's got this giant hole on the ceiling that you can see in. It's really cool. <laughs> oh, it is. oh look, they have Kirby now. Wait, I oh. love the chef one. Oh, Chef Kirby. Oh, what is this? That's, right. That's cute. It costs three, six dollars. <laughs> wow, okay. What'd you get? Do I let them? Yeah. Oh, wait, look, it's a. Oh, it's a little smisky, smisky face. That's cool. Oh, you can do it. Unless you want, you're asking me to. <laughs> oh. oh, it's laying down. It's, it's a, a little ring. ring. Look at my. <laughs> That's. Who'd we get? It's a little mirror, like a side-out keychain mirror. Now you can see yourself. Fix your makeup before you go on camera. Yeah, I can <laughs> fix my makeup now. Food court food. This thing is so cool. I've never seen a Star Fox watch. What the heck? This is what I used to play, Super Mario. Yeah, I used to play that too. That was so much fun. That was the best. Was there even an ending to the game? Yes. Then of I, course then there's I don't an ending. Know. Then I don't know the ending. Because I've never gotten to the ending. I guess I can't spoil the ending, man. We gotta play it. I do kind of miss taking this train every day. I used to take it to work and it's been a minute since I've ridden on this.
I don't know if things have changed though. I've been seeing things on the news of like violence on public transportation. And I don't know if it's always been like that or if it's getting kind of more intense. It's hard to say because I don't, I don't ride the train anymore. But we'll see when I go on it. Okay, so I have a funny that just happened. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Wow, it's been a while. Okay, so I have something funny that just happened right now. I got these tickets, one for me, one for Jen, and I'm running to the train because I'm getting the tickets while she's going down. She's in the train, the door closes right in front of my face, and it takes off, and she's in it. So I'm gonna go meet up with her right now, but it got me thinking how outdated the Seattle train system is. It's so outdated because even in New York, with the subway that's been around since freaking what? How, how long has the subway been around? Like 1800s or something? I don't even know. It's been around for a long time. All you gotta do is tap your phone or your Apple Watch, just tap it and you go right in. You don't need a stupid ticket or anything. I don't know why Seattle's so outdated to where they gotta come and check your ticket in the train at random. Something needs to change with that because that makes no sense. Anyways, had the door closed right in front of my face. It's been a while since that's happened. The only thing that's changed is uh, they changed one of the station names to Symphony. It used to be called University. That's the only thing that's changed. Still looks the same down here. Oh, there's a big change. That entrance to Nordstrom used to be open, but I guess since it's gotten so bad in Seattle, they had to shut it down. Here's your ticket. <laughs> what happened? I guess that's good, right? Do you need a cup divider or? No, I don't think so. Come back here. What for? Just walk through like that for the shot. Well, what's the, what's the point of that though? <laughs> Whoa! I want that. One of these. What is it? A 36-piece train set. This is so dope. Wow. It's I always wanted enough. a train set. How much is? Holy shit! Oh wait, that's not the train set price. How much is? It? Forty. Oh, not bad. Wait, no, the is 40 it forty? Bucks. Yeah. I would like to put it on the on the ceiling. A ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want this thing. Hey, it's not bad. Whoa. It's only two hundred bucks. The eyes. So realistic. Oh, we should get that. That's so cool. Oh yeah. Yep, that's the move. One okay. cookie. Can we just do the chocolate chip, please? Thank you. One lasts us like a few days. I know. Oh, They're so decadent. Heavy. They're really good though. Yeah. That's what I do. Have a good one. Thanks. So this store is known for this. This is the cookie. It's so thick. Yeah, break into that motherfucker. Oh yeah. Damn. Wow, good job. That looks cool. 
The Seattle one's rad. They really got it on point for not being from Seattle. I wonder how he does it. Yeah, it's got all the good spots. Fubok, Dicks, Toshi, Salumi. Yeah. Even the pie that I used to make every freaking day. That's cool. He's starting? Well, why don't they just make one in the lineup if he's that good? You say that? They have a jalapeno on each one. <clears throat> Wait, what day of the week was it? No way. You, have to have you don't know that. Yeah, I do. Oh, well, thank you. I remember. I got something. You did? I feel like I did. I think I did. All right, let's see what you got. 